welcome back. I'm filming again today because I thought, you know, really fast, I might as well film my April favorites. Oh my gosh, it's scary to even say that. I feel like we're going to be celebrating my birthday next week. Oh, scary. <laughs> but, um, I just, why did I even grab this when I said that? I'm in a weird mood today. I just, I need to go get my hair done. Eric is like, Yvette, when are you going to get your hair done? I go on Wednesday. I'll probably have this up on Wednesday, but um, I might film one more video. Be no, I might not. Maybe next time you'll see me, I'll have my hair done. But um, I'm just going to have her like bring the highlights up halfway. So it kind of has that blended look to it. You know, like the sun kissed it or something like that so that's the look I'm going for but okay so more <laughs> my favorites today uh, not today but for this month I have some not oldies actually most of them are new I do have a oldie but a goodie that I pretty much forgot about and I just wanted to share that with you guys um, so since I just wanted to grab this right away. Um, we'll just talk about it. It is the <sighs> Freeman Beauty um, Feeling Beaut No Freeman Feeling Beautiful Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Away Clay Mask. Okay, this one I know I bought this like barely two weeks ago, but I promise you guys this is life changing. It really is. Um, it does smell like sweet tea. I love it. I talked about this in my haul, obviously, you know, a few videos ago, but this, the way it feels when I peel it off my skin, my face just feels so clean after and smooth and just what I want it to feel like, you know, it's like a good deep cleaning and it's not thin. So it kind of feels like you're like smearing honey or wax all over your face and then when you peel it off it's not it's not like you know breaking away on you every every time you peel it away like you can like peel the whole thing off your face so it's pretty funny but it's just it tightens and everything like that so it's just amazing and I think it was like 450 or something like that so I highly recommend that one highly recommend it so I've been loving that and I've been using it like every every other time um so I use that and then I use the end the pineapple enzyme one and then I'll use that again and my my skin has just felt amazing so okay the next thing is this little Dolce & Gabbana um what is the scent of this one I don't even know what the scent is but this is what the bottle looks like just a cute little flower flower I will put the name of it right here because I just don't know what it is and I got this as a little I think it was like a hundred point perk at Sephora but I've really been liking it a lot because it's light but you do still smell it all day and it just kind of makes you feel pretty you know it's not overpowering or anything like that and it, for spring it's just like refreshing and everything so I'm really glad I got the sample of this and I think I'm gonna go purchase the full size but a little bit goes a long way I've used this like almost every day and I mean it's halfway gone but I mean if it was like a in a spray form or spray bottle I probably would have used it way more but because I just put a little bit like you know on my decollete and you know put some on my wrist it does seem to last a lot longer so I've really been liking that then I have um, well I got four lip products here and then this little guy this Tarte the Amazonian colored clay tinted brow gel and I got the shade taupe seriously oh my goodness I love this thing Wow way better than the gimme brow by benefit way better um it's got the ittiest bittiest tiniest little wand but there's something about this little guy that just lets you really comb through your brows and it just fills in those little areas that like the gimme brow couldn't because it was a bigger um 
little brush and it just really gets where you want it to get and it's not too um what's the word i'm looking for it's not so tinted to where like if you didn't you know you wanted to fix your brow or something you could it's not gonna like stain it like the gimme brow kind of like did that like once it's smeared where you didn't want it to smear it like took all your makeup off this just it just makes everything look more natural and i love it that the the shade is very similar to the gimme brow i believe they even cost the same but i love the teeny tiny wand on this so much better so i really do like that one way more Okay, so this oldie but a goodie um, is the, okay, I know they still have this. I think, I think it's even the same packaging, um, if I'm not mistaken, but the Physician's Formula Baked Oatmeal Trio, it looks like this, um, and it comes with like that little sponge applicator, which I don't use. I have gone through several of these. And I totally forgot about it because when I moved all my makeup and like reorganized it, I kind of like, it like fell towards the back of my drawer. So every time I opened it, it just slid more and more and I never saw it and I stopped using it and I just like fell back in love with it all over again. It is the perfect little trio. Um, the colors are just awesome for the price it is so good and i mean i know it doesn't have a transition color but i just use my you know color pop to a t but you know how sometimes when you see a girl and she's got like that perfect taupey i mean th this is just me because i feel like i can never find that perfect taupey eyeshadow look or maybe it's because i have blonde hair and it just looks different on like you know girls with darker hair or something but it is like this is seriously that perfect taupey look with that perfect little bit of a darker brown crease i mean oh my gosh i just i'll swatch it but i don't even have that much left because it's just i've been using the heck out of it um i don't even have it might come off a little bit too like shiny right now but i don't even have a eyeshadow like this I mean even max um, satin taupe is still a little bit dark I think but I mean the colors are really well pigmented like I don't I mean like I don't even want the brown to be that pigmented like it is just like perfect there's the brown and then I'll swatch the um I mean look at that color payoff for that highlight I mean it's just awesome so I've been wearing this a lot this month and I know I've worn it if, last was it in one of my last videos too but today I just kind of wanted to go for a simple look but I do need to pick up another one from the drugstore because it is awesome so it's called baked oatmeal I can't remember if I mentioned that or not so okay then I have four lip products by Essence and I recently picked them up, but I I can't even tell you like how much I love these four lip products. So the very first one that I cannot stop using is the In The Nude Liner by Essence. And it is literally the most perfect nude lip liner ever, 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 ever. Like I, I'm gonna, okay. Last time I went to Ulta, they didn't have any. Every time I go to Ulta, I'm going to look to see if they have any because I will buy up every single one I can because it really is just amazing. So let me do a pretty good swatch. But it is just, it's perfect. It really is the perfect nude. And I love the formula because it's not too, um, it just applies really easy, but it's not one of those like super creamy ones. It is the perfect consistency, exactly what I want a lip liner to be like. So, oh gosh, I just cannot get enough of that. And I have been using this lipstick all week. Um, I've been, I mean, it goes with so many looks, but especially when you wear like a smoky eye, oh my gosh, this really does give you the perfect nude look. Um, you know how I was loving my Marvelous Moxie and Be Free? Well, this just took its spot. Like, I, I love it. 
so much and it's called Osa Matte and it's I want to say it's more of a matte formula but it's not it's not like um like a true matte it's kind of like a satiny matte it doesn't dry out your lips nothing it it really is good um so let me swatch it next to it because I've been wearing these two together and it is just a really good nude I can't believe I don't have anything like it like after swatching all of my new lipsticks not one looked like this I mean the only close one was the beef was was the be free but still it wasn't you know just like it so it's a good cool toned nude and I think you guys would really like it so and then the lip gloss I've been putting on top of it. Um, actually, I've been going back and forth with this and the Almay Nutrients. Nutrients. Yeah. Okay. It's it's one of those cute little strange names. Um, but they're really similar. That one just kind of gives you a um, just kind of gives you like that just a itty bitty you know hint of gloss kind of look on top. But sometimes I will put this on too, um, just all over, not just in the center. Okay, sorry about that. I just like coughed up a storm all of a sudden. And now I kind of feel like my eyes are watering and stuff. Oh, goodness. So, all right. This Essence Lip Gloss is one of those... Okay, you know how I have the Sephora Beige Craze? I think that's what it's called. Very similar to that, but okay, way cheaper, first of all but it really is one of those glosses that if you just want to throw on a lip liner like I'll throw on the naked lip liner or not naked in the nude lip liner and just put that gloss just over it it gives you that perfect gloss lip look so I've been loving this for that so this has been one where I just, you know, put my liner on, put the gloss on, and I'm good to go. It's not sticky, and they smell really nice. The applicator is awesome, and, I mean, way cheaper than the Sephora, because I think the Sephora one is $14 or something, and this one was like 2 bucks, maybe 3 so it's definitely worth it. Oh, I totally forgot about this lipstick, but this is my very last favorite this month, and it's the Natural Beauty, which is also by Essence. I mean, I've been on the Essence kick this month, so I'm sorry, but I cannot get over the formula and the price and everything like that. So I will, you know, let me just swatch this down here, but I wore this. Um, in the video where I talked about, you know, how we had the fire and everything. And thank you guys again for, you know, the sweet words, the prayers, everything like that. Oh my gosh. Like, it just really meant a lot and stuff like that. To not just me and my family, but, I mean, everybody. Like, ugh, it was just awesome. So, you guys are great. But, I wore this in that video and a lot of you guys complimented on how pretty my lips looked. Well, this is the only thing I had on. It was just by itself, and I really liked it because it's that lipstick where if you want to overline your lips a little bit and, you know, you don't want it to look funny, it's perfect. Like, it just gives you that look like you just have, like, a lip liner on top, too, and it's just a very, very pretty lipstick. I really, really love it. So this is definitely a must-have, and I don't know. I just... I've really fallen in love with Essence, so I feel like, I know a lot of people have talked about them, but I never gave them that chance, and now it's like, I don't even want to spend like $30 on a lipstick because I'm like, you know, these are so awesome, so I don't know, that's just me, so it's, it's a good way to save money if you, you know, you're on a budget and stuff like that, which... I'm trying to be and whatnot, but anyway, so these were my favorites for April. It's still crazy. And let me go get Little Bug. <laughs> he hasn't said hi in a while. Hang on. Okay, he was on Neighborhood Watch, so he's always on top of the recliner just looking out the blinds, barking at the gardener and barking at the kids and 
you know, doing what he does best. But it's been a little while since little Bo Jingles had, you know, said hi. But thank you guys so much for watching my April favorites. Are you sleepy? You're sleepy now. Um, and let me know what you guys have been loving this month. And I will see you guys really soon. And thank you guys so much for just watching my videos. It just means a lot. So have a wonderful and a blessed week. And I'll see you soon.